Good morning. I don't know where we are in this vlog, but I think this is a new vlog. Um, it's Monday the 19th of June and I am tired. <sighs> Yesterday was very... I don't know, I was sick, I had a bad day. It was just not the best. And I was always like feeling like I was gonna fall, like I was nauseous and all of that. My friend was actually helping me, you know, he was on the call while I was cooking. And all of a sudden I felt like I was gonna fall and lose my mind. So I had to stop cooking to just rest, you know? So I did that, but yeah, it's a new week and um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I may not be working at the same pace that I normally would, but you know, I would do something. So I have a couple of things to do this week, a lot of applications. Um, I received like a bad news on, I received good news and bad news actually. On, on Friday, I was accepted into two programs and then I also got rejected into one of the programs. But the one that I got rejected for, I really, really wanted that one as well. Um, and it did not give me any feedback. That's the worst part. I like it when if you're rejected, like, you get feedback as to why you were rejected so that if you're thinking about applying again you can use that feedback to you know improve on your application but i didn't get that so um, i'm gonna do some more applications this week like i am a consultant a study abroad consultant i'm also a cyber security consultant and i do like trainings and workshops on the side um, as part of what I do beyond like being a tech founder. So I did some of those consultations on um, Saturday slash Sunday. So this week I will, I have two more consultations. Um, I'm going to Manchester for the first time this week. I think it's going to be on a Friday. Um, it's supposed to be on the 26th. I don't know if it's this week or next week, but the 26th, okay? So I'm going to spend the whole day in Manchester. That's in the pipeline. Then um, pretty much try to um, do complete my research that has been taking a lot longer than I expected. Um, the software I'm trying to use is giving me a tough time and I'm trying to communicate with the customer support they're not being very helpful so i don't know i would have to like start all over again so there's that i'm going to the bank today i don't know if i don't go today then maybe sometime during the week they when i went to the bank i don't know if you guys saw in my last vlog if you didn't see them maybe on instagram where i shared like a vlog when i went to the bank the lady told me to go and i wrote down like my pain and whatnot she said she was gonna apply for like do the thing and i'll get the pin and i didn't get the pin it's like one week after so i need to go to the bank to check on that um i might cook i don't have stew so i was supposed to do that yesterday but i was too sick to do that i don't know my spirit is not high so i think there are those days those moments where you're just like you know going through some things that you can't really talk about i'm going through some things right now that i can't talk about and you know, um, I was talking to my consultant, Uncle Ken, yesterday, and he's like, it's been so helpful, but I think one thing I need to do is just go listen to music that will just uplift, uplift my spirit, um, then I'll feel much better. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is me sending love and light to anyone that is going through something or dealing with something that they can't really talk about. You've got this, God is with you, and he will see you through. Um, it will just be for a moment and this is me also saying these things to myself as well yesterday was father's day actually it wasn't really the best for me because father's day is like i just remember losing my dad not having my dad in my life um i, I just need my dad right now i need a dad in my life right now i did not know the impact of not having your father with you i mean it's hit me for a long time but it's hitting me much more now because of certain things going on and i just wish i had it and his birthday was two days ago so he's um i think june 16th 
So that day wasn't really because I was just like, I was not having, I wasn't feeling well like that day. I don't know why things were not just working out. And then on Facebook, I saw my auntie, it was my auntie's birthday. And I just called my mom. I'm like, hey, it's your sister's birthday. And she was like, oh, because my auntie and my, my dad are birthday mates. So she was like, oh, yeah, you know, it was supposed to be your dad's birthday too. And I'm like, yeah, no wonder I just felt a certain kind of way. And then the next day was Father's Day. So it was just too much for me, you know. Um, Today has been very hectic for me, so I need to change my company address. I have not done that, and I need to, like, update that. I was trying to do it, and then they were requesting for, for an authentication code that I do not have. I just made a call right now, and they told me that I can print this form, technically, and send it to the post office to get the um, address changed. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do now. I'll print it out and then I'll go to the post office. I also need to go to the bank. So these are the two things I might need to do today. I'm trying to make my business card. And this is what it's looking like right now. The reason I'm doing this is because you know, I've been to a couple of business events and it just didn't make sense that I didn't have my business card. So I'm trying to make something here. Um, for my company and this is what it looks like I, I just did this on Canva so guys um I don't know I was supposed to go to the bank yesterday I didn't I received this parcel from it's something I bought um from Facebook this is the second time I've purchased something on Facebook and I was scared thinking I was going to be scammed um but it turns out like I received it but the quality of the product I received the first time was horrible so this second time, I just felt, you know what, let's try um, try it again. I will go to the bank much later today. The weather is pretty dull. I think it's going to rain. It rained in the morning. So I'm creating surveys for my research and I'm trying to use a platform and the platform is just giving me a headache. Like I created this survey on Google Forms and everything looked okay. There's this other platform where I can also recruit participants and um, the platform you have to create your survey all over again. So there's no way to integrate my Google Forms um, that I already created into the platform itself. So I have to create it all over again and it's giving me, I've been going back and forth with the customer support and it's just like, I don't know. And they're saying they don't have a feature like that. So they are going to add like requests for that feature from the product team. And that's going to take forever. So I'm having to like learn, like do it all over again. The platform is not very user friendly. Even the creation of the, the form is not user friendly at all. Like I'm learning so much just to do something that I've already done. So it's crazy. So that's part of the things that, you know, you have to take into consideration because in my research plan i put like a, a timeline and deadline milestones when some things have to be done but clearly i don't have control over something like this and I, it has to stretch my my research plan so i don't know if you know of any platform where you can recruit participants and also conduct um research on there but you can easily integrate your already created survey into the platform let me know i don't know when i'm going to be done but that is the only goal i have today to get that done and sent out before friday um i don't know how relevant this is but something that i re i realized lately is that i am not as patient as i used to be with um relationships in general i feel like i've given so much in the past and gotten you know so i just you know it's hard for me to like oh try to make it work again no if my mind is out it's out so that's one thing that i've realized about me i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing when my mind or when the time presents itself, then maybe. But right now, that's where I am in my life. And whatever happens, happens. I know people will be like, oh, don't burn bridges. But I think I'm very comfortable burning bridges right now in my life. And it is what it is. <laughs> you burn bridges, you create new bridges. It's what it is. You, I mean, yeah. But like, I don't know. But I think it's bad and it's also good. But whatever it is. I'm prioritizing myself and I'm not feeling guilty about it. And I know it's going to rub off on some people badly, but I don't know what you guys think about it. If you have a different opinion about it, let me know. If you've ever come to a point in your life where you felt like, you know what, I 
it's all about me just let me know how did you get through that what happened i just want to know let's talk in the comments okay okay so if i don't get the money back within five business days i can give you a call back all right that works yeah five yeah five to seven working days and then give us a call back if not so guys um i ordered something from argos yes no two days ago and it was supposed to be delivered yesterday but i had like this issue with like updating my um my information i didn't hear from anybody like and i paid for like you know um fast delivery because i needed it like my laptop stand um it's always burning my legs i work on a desk for like you know 24 hours so i need like something i had it in america but i think i gave it to my friend when i was moving i didn't come with it there are a lot of things that i should have brought from america here now that i'm thinking about it but at the time i just felt like i didn't need not like i didn't need them but like it was just there was just other things that i needed you know but in retrospect i just feel that there were things that i could have easily brought here with me that i needed but yeah i tried to like get this resolved i've been having issues yesterday today but finally i had to cancel the previous order made a new order and i was able to fix the issues i was having and um, hopefully i get it delivered today i have a meeting in 15 minutes it's a webinar and when i'm done with that webinar it's um today's like it's like everything i need to do like the things that must be done Hopefully I get everything achieved today because tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and even next week is going to be very busy for me. And I'm also trying to edit this video. Okay, I'm trying to edit the video. Like I started, but you see the work that goes into editing. Let's see. See the minutes? It's 46, let's say 50 minutes long video by the time i'm done editing i'm gonna have like maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes max video um or vlog so this is like uh, a new vlog so if you've not seen that vlog please see that vlog because definitely that vlog should already be up by now and if you've not followed if you're not following me on instagram and all of my social media platforms please do so i also received an email from my um, my business coach. We met on Monday. We were supposed to meet next Monday, but I needed her to give me um, feedback on my website. Um, so she sent me like the early version of the feedback. How are you doing, Valley? Um, I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, really good. Really good. And I'm excited for us to have the session together. I see you struggle like butterflies in water. Can't get moving forward. And I also got the it's my laptop holder. Weighted down by armor. You don't need that protection. I will walk on glass. I will run ten thousand miles and more. I will keep my eyes. If you lost your sight, I will run through fire. So, guys, I really love this, and I see that it's even possible for me to have my. Oh my god, have my um. Yeah, I can even have my stuff, my camera here, and I'm working, and it's all good. Wish that I could take away your.
Today is June 22nd. It's a Thursday. And yeah, I did some organization and I'm very proud of myself. I need to jump on a meeting very shortly. It's a networking event for um, women in tech. It's an online um, event. So I'm very happy. I get to connect with other women that are business owners or tech founders and learn about their stories, their journeys, everything. And I think that that's one way, like a really cool way to build community. I've been mentioning like how community and building network is really important in this phase of my life. And I'm taking it really, really seriously. So um, yeah, this is how I do it. And um by the way, if my space is very disorganized, you will know that something is going on with me. Like everywhere is disorganized. Something is definitely going on with me. But if my space is, you know, organized, well put together, you know that I'm in a better um, space, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's just like one way to know if something like I'm stressed, overwhelmed, exhausted, all of those things happening. That is one way to know because I hardly... Like 99% of the time, I will not talk about it, but that's one way. So I just gave you the trick right there. I don't think I want to like walk from here or be in that meeting from here. So um, uh, the Women in Business Networking in uh, June. Uh, wow, we're flying through the year, halfway through the year. In a few moments, so I thought just leave it up so you can just remember how we're here's, um, who would like If anyone else would like to quickly go into a room, please shout out. So guys, I received my business card and I'm going to be unboxing it. So I designed my business card um, on Canva. You can see this here. Let's do this. Yay. Kind of like the packaging is very sleek. And let me bring this out. This is how it looks. Another box. So I, I got like 150 copies of this on um, Canva. Now I have my business card. So whenever I go on like business events, in-person business events, I have my card to like pass on to people and I think it's really cool. But in terms of quality, I don't think I really, really like the quality. I'm seeing some things that I didn't expect to see, um, but I think it does the job. So Daya is calling me. I think it's because I sent her my business card. So let's hear what she has to say. D for Daya. I'm good. How are you? Hey guys. Good morning. So it's um, Friday, June 21st or 3rd. I don't know, but one of those days and I'm getting ready, actually ready for a meeting. I have a meeting with the VP of products of a particular company. Um, so I'm very excited for the meeting. I don't know if you guys can see me, but yeah. I'm excited for the meeting. I'm leaving right now. I will see you guys when I come back. I am not going to vlog um, because it doesn't make sense, but I'll definitely like maybe vlog my experience going and coming back, whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I gotta go, so I get there on time. Yeah, outfit of the day, this is what I have. Just my shirt, my jean, and ooh, the sneakers. Yes, that's all. So if you want, maybe I'll leave the links to the outfits in the description. If you want anything, check the description. Bye guys. You came in like a storm with no one in. Swept me off my feet. It was a deadly dance. And I knew if I stayed, I would never leave. Cause you had my heart. In your hands, soft like the summer And then it was a deadly dance And I knew if I stayed, I wouldn't stand a chance Thunder, lightning, hit me, struck me Right in the side of my head I was born to fall
Hi. <laughs> say hello. I want them to see. Hi. Hi to subscribers. I'm Teja from India. What's your name? What's your name? Teja. From where? India. India. Is that your store? Yeah. What do you guys make? You want to show me? Yeah, maybe cover. up. Uh, show me. Yeah. So I can ask them to come. It's the largest kunda at a food name. Yeah. So this is, um, yeah. Um, this is the Persian kebab. Persian kebab, yeah, right? Uh, this is good. Kebab. Lovely kebab. Right. Yeah, mural, yes. So if you're in Austin, guys, you know that Austin is huge on murals, you know, so being in London and seeing this, like, it's amazing. I'm being done by, like, a black queen. Like, I'm I'm so proud. Okay, so that's this thread of gold. And the author is the person right there. You can see she's, it's amazing. Oh, in the mural, I have Toni Morrison, mm -hmm. um, Michaela Cole, Beyonce and Serena Williams. Oh my, yes, that's the, that's her. Oh my God, now I see it. But yeah. well, what's your name and how can, if you're doing this, like how can uh, people find you? I am Lynette Panasha Rabaya. I'm an artist based in London slash Leeds. You can find me on Instagram, but at cigarette. So C-I-G-H-E-R. E -T -T. <laughs> so guys, please follow her, support her work. She's just amazing. Hi, so I'm Catherine Joy White. I'm a debut author, so my first book was published yesterday in the UK by Dialogue Books. It's called This Thread of Gold, and it is a really joyful celebratory narrative that just brings together black women's stories, examples of their resistance, their art, their creativity, and just celebrates them in a way that we haven't really seen something that's like solely dedicated, I suppose, to our joy. How do you feel about this achievement? I feel, I mean, I felt really joyful and today I feel really emotional because, you know, this is like for us and for our ancestors. And I did an interview with my nan last week as part of Windrush Day. And she told me, I never knew this in my life, that she always wanted to write a book, but obviously didn't. And now I've written one for her. So there's things like this where I just feel, yeah. So how do you feel? You you I brought this to life. I like, unbelievably proud, you know. Right. Like, we spend so much time and like, effort and we dream of these moments and then suddenly the book is in the world and then, you know, we get to do things like this and it's just so special. We're trying to reach new readers, we're trying to make sure that everybody knows about the book. So by having these innovative ways and celebrating black artists as well and it's just really so special and she's amazing. So it's an honor to work with her. Thank you for supporting her. And thank you for doing this. No, no, no. All right. Yeah. So guys, um, you know, I'm back. I'm at home right now and I'm about to jump on another um, meeting. It's actually an interview that I have for a program that I'm trying to get into. Um, this is the second stage, so wish me luck. It starts in one minute. By the way, my meeting with the person earlier today was really good. I'm very excited about that. Um, you know, it went really well. I even had fun. Um, met up with this artist who was like, you know, um, doing great stuff. I was just happy to see another black woman winning, you know, so yeah. Um, I'll see you guys when I come back, but yeah, wish me luck. Bye. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Hello, Hello. can you hear Hi. me? Yes, yeah, yeah, can you hear us all right? So guys, my apartment is a mess. Um, and it's Saturday, by the way, so I need to like fix... Ooh, I need to fix it, like fix my, my room. I have laundry to do. I have, um, I already did some laundry, I think two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. So I also need to like fold the clothes. Um, I want today to be a chill day, but I also want to do some things I didn't get to do during the week. So I don't know where to begin. I'm just confused. I don't know where to begin. 
Hello guys, good morning. This is Sunday the 25th of June. Maybe I should just end the vlog here. Today is Sunday. I'm going to church. I don't think you guys have... I've not taken you guys to church ever, right? But if you're following me on Instagram, you know that I... You know I've taken you to church. 